Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Shannon and I know that this wasn't necessarily on the schedule, um, but I found a snippet of time today to come here and share with all of you my story. I'm gonna give you guys a second if you are popping on, um, please let me know, go ahead. And I love to know where everybody's from. Uh, I know earlier this morning we found there were a lot of people from Maryland um, and the East Coast, but I know that there are some West Coasters out there as well. So if you are hopping on and watching this live with me, or maybe even you're catching the recording, please go ahead and put in the comments where you're from. We really love to know where our future team members all are because it's exciting. If we ever pop into the area, we like to get together and see each other actually in person. So uh, anyway, as I mentioned, I'm Shannon and I am one of the coaches here on this team and I'm so excited that you are interested in learning more about what we do. And we like to let people know that there's always two parts of coaching. You know, there's there's your journey and there's, you know, your personal story and then there's your coaching story, your coaching success story. And I want to share a little bit about both um, in regards to where I particularly came from, how I got involved, and then the successes that this opportunity has actually brought to my life because it has, I believe, always made my life better. And so uh, a little bit about me. Um, I'm married and I am married for, it'll be 26 years this year. My husband and I met in high school. I was a dancer. He was an athlete. Uh, just our personalities just totally jived and he was a year older than me and uh, about a year and a half after we had met he was away at college I was still a senior in high school and became pregnant and so we took the plunge and got married and actually we talked about it a lot first and we won't get all into the nitty gritty, but you know, we just knew we were wanted to be together and we were like, listen, if we're going to do this, we are, we are like all in. And, and I think I, I share that with you because that is very much our personality. Like when we commit to something, we are all in. So, you know, here we are today, still married, 26 years. Our daughters are 26 and 23 years old, and they are just the joy of our lives. And we just, everything that we have ever done has been in the light of them and wanting to, you know, make them proud and be a success and, you know, show up for them. And, and just, we just poured everything and all of our love into our families. And so we're very grateful that, our goals in that way for life were aligned. Now it all sounds, you know, fine and dandy. It wasn't always great. I always call this not a journey, but a road trip because there's bumps in the roads, there's veers in the, you know, in the streets, there's big hills, there's mountains to go up and around and down. And, you know, it's not always picture perfect, but, you know, we've always come together and made it through. And so, you know, I'll just like fast forward, you know, throughout the years, um, I worked in healthcare. I did not go to college. I got a certificate um, and I became a sonographer. Um, and it was great because it was wonderful money. I had an amazing job and I was able to work while my husband went to college. And so it was this constant hustle. Like I would pick up extra shifts at the hospital and I was working all the time and he was going to school. And while he was going to school, I would have the kids and then we'd swap. And so we just made it happen. And over time, and not realizing this, but I started developing uh, chronic 
injuries, chronic pains in my body. And it was, it was my, my job was physically demanding for anybody who works in a hospital understands that you're constantly moving. You're on your feet all day. You're lifting patients, you're moving patients. Uh, it's, it's just, it, it is fulfilling, but it's, very, very, very hard in your body. And you, you, you hardly even eat actually, <laughs> or if you do eat, usually there's something, you know, in the break room and it's always somebody's birthday and you're grabbing all sorts of different cakes and stuff, <laughs> but you're always moving. So that's kind of a good thing anyway. So, you know, the reason I share that with you is, um, one day I was sitting in the hospital just doing some paperwork and I went into this physical, uh, we'll, we'll just call it spasm. Um, I turned my head, my whole body just singed, and I was rushed to the emergency room. I couldn't move from the neck down. And I had always had this pain, but you know, us as moms and women, and you know, we're always doing this and doing that and getting involved in this and getting involved in that. We could do all the things, right? All the things. Um, you know, I, I was really injured and I was ignoring the fact that I couldn't carry a purse anymore. I was ignoring the fact that I couldn't carry groceries and my daughters would, you know, you know, come and get them and carry them in because I would be like, come on and help with the groceries. But I was really asking them because I knew that it hurt me and I couldn't do it. I'll never forget a time we were in Disney World and we had a backpack and I just couldn't carry the backpack. So I had to make, everybody had to rotate, but I could not carry it because I would just always have this heaviness. Well, again, that moment that happened to me in the hospital uh, and being rushed to the emergency room, I found out that I ended up having an MRI and found out that I had a cervical stenosis. Now, I was young. I was probably only, I was maybe in my early 30s at that time, uh, maybe even a little bit younger. And yeah, it was probably in my early, early 30s. I'll say 32, 33 years old. I forget. And, you know, it was very scary because I now starting have started to having to see a neurologist because they were looking for nerve damage um, because I was dropping things. I couldn't carry things. I was constantly numb, constantly in pain, taking pain medication. I started physical therapy. I was doing all of the things. Physical therapy definitely helped me. Um, but I was a rather active person and it was killing me that I couldn't go like out for a run because my doctors were like no physical activity right now, like just physical therapy, but no running, none of this, because we don't want you to be in a wheelchair. And I was just like, what do you mean in a wheelchair? And they're like, well, you know, we want to see how physical therapy goes. And if that, you know, doesn't work for you, um, you know, surgery is likely something that we're looking at in your future. And if you don't have the surgery, then, you know, there's the likelihood you could be in a wheelchair. Now, when you tell somebody that in their 30s, and a healthcare provider, nonetheless, I'm, I'm this, <laughs> I'm this, like, I know what that means. Um, I immediately was like, no, not me. That's not going to happen. Um, and I, at that moment, I just remember, okay, I'm going to listen to the doctors and I'm going to take the steps, but I'm going to also listen to my body. And I started taking responsibility for the way my body felt. Now I knew that my job was a big factor in this because this pain that I was having was chronic. So I had to absolutely change something. And so what I did was I, now, mind you, in the middle of the past couple of years, I also went back to college. <laughs> and because it was a personal goal of mine to finish college before my daughters went to college. So they were like, so, you know, like sitting up late at night in bed, reading, doing homework, you know, because during the day after work, I was going to PTA meetings again. I just had this constant will to go and succeed and, you know, honestly, in all honestly, I think it was about making my family proud of me that I wasn't like just this teen mom, you know? And so I had to go and do that. 
So I'm glad I did that because what it did was it kind of set me up to change my the projection of my career. So what happened was I started chasing titles. So the first thing I did was I started working in a med school. Now I was employed by a med school. I was teaching medical students and doctors and all of these things. And they were ready to offer me to go and get my PhD and, you know, become a professor on staff. And I was just like, wow. And I was just like, okay, this is great. But then I started really thinking like, is that what I really want? Like, is, is that, I, I don't know if that's what I really want. I want to, I don't want to be stuck in a classroom all the time, but I love teaching so much. So I had this opportunity to switch my career into the corporate world. Now, mind you, at this time, I knew I needed to make changes in what I did every single day in my job. And I wasn't going to have to do those physical things anymore in the corporate world. So to me, that was the solution to my physical condition was completely change careers and do something new and then you can climb the corporate ladder, right? And so so that's what I did. I, I, I joined the corporate world. I was still in the medical education realm. I was doing something that I loved and I started again finding myself totally enjoying what I was doing uh, living a great life, traveling all over the place. But what it did was it removed me from my community. And even though when I was home, I got to do things with my daughters that I maybe wouldn't have gotten to do if I was in a nine to five anymore. However, if I wasn't home, I wasn't home. If I wasn't home, I was missing out. And I didn't like that. And so I continually was like how can i how can i find my way into climbing this corporate ladder and working from home so that i can always be present and now it didn't become about climbing the corporate ladder it came up it started becoming about how can i be more present in my daughter's lives like i started having this guilt complex even to this day i asked my daughters do you remember you know that when this happened and you know do you remember that i was there or do you remember that i wasn't there and my daughters were like mom you you always made the effort to be there and that just makes me feel good that they actually they know that <laughs> but that wasn't the feeling that I was having during that time. I had this like always rushing guilt complex. And it's such a, it's, it's an awful feeling to have. Even though I was providing and having success in, in my profession. And let's, let me just tell you something. When you are traveling like that, it takes a toll on the whole family. And it was starting to take a toll on me personally, and it was starting to take a toll on my husband and our relationship. Because here was the thing, I was gone, I was eating out all the time, I was coming home exhausted, I was flying east to west coast, and when I got back, I was tired. And so the things that you come home to look forward to, I didn't have the energy to participate in and so my attitude started changing I was burnt out and when your body starts feeling like that your metabolism starts changing I was gaining weight I didn't care I didn't really care I was just like this is what happens as you're approaching 40 and my attitude was so recognizably different to my husband that one day he sat me down he goes you gotta do something about this. This isn't working out. You have got to fix this. And I got I got upset, you know, and I got upset, but I think, you know, as I thought over it, thought, thought it through that night, he was actually saying that to me out of love, right? He was saying that to me out of love because he knew this wasn't the person that I wanted to be. This isn't the way I wanted to show up in the lives of other people because normally I'm very upbeat and want to do things for people. And I was coming home and I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to like, you know, take me out to dinner or take me to a winery and let me, you know, have a bottle of wine at dinner and, you know, and I just wanted to chill. I didn't want to, you know, like I would want to socialize, but it would, it would have to be like, 
really just to let loose. And so it just, things weren't 100% because I wasn't paying attention to myself. So two years prior to that, I was actually invited to this coaching opportunity. And it was right about the time I took that corporate job. And it was from David Atkins. You'll see him and his wife's uh, success stories in the thing, uh, in the thing, you know, our guides. And David called me. We went to high school together. And he called me up and he goes, Shannon, you know, I'm, I'm watching you. I, I see you. I, was, I must have shared something about exercise and physical therapy. And he's like, I just remember how you know, heart of a worker you are. And I just love that you're always trying, you're doing stuff with your families and you're always trying to, like he recognized the things that I was posting. And I was just like, listen, I I, I know exactly what Beachbody is. I I, I love it. I believe in it. Um, I, I, I'm not opposed to network marketing at all because I know that it's a great business plan, but I just started a corporate career and this is where my energy is and no thank you. I'm actually having to go through physical therapy right now. It's not for me. And I just like poo pooed it. Well, let me tell you something. I wish I listened to him two years earlier because those two years, I would have been in a better mindset, physical condition, and I wouldn't have had the stress, I believe, uh, with that guilt complex of not being able to pro like be present in the lives of other people because that is what this business had given me like within a couple of weeks and I didn't join so let's fast forward two years when my husband had this conversation with me and said you need to do something about this he had become a coach already who did he become a coach for David Atkins I had no clue. I had no clue. I knew my husband was working out. We always had, you know, uh, P90X and we always had programs in our house. So it didn't phase me that he was doing those things. But what I realized was he was telling me one, I, you know, I love you. You need to work on yourself. He wasn't saying I needed to do what he was doing. He was just giving me that permission that I wasn't giving myself and said, you need to do this. And you're going to love this coaching thing. Besides, we need the discount. And I was just like, listen, if you sign me up as a coach, we're going to do this because I feel great. It was like after two weeks and I feel great and I can't shut up about this. People, people uh, at work noticed like something about me, like within a week. And I didn't even realize, I didn't realize I was losing weight. I didn't realize that I was waking up easier. Like these were things that were happening that other people kept bringing to my attention. Shannon, gosh, you're glowing today. Or Shannon, gosh, you're in such a good mood. Or Shannon, goodness, you know, I saw you in the gym this morning. And I have to admit, I never looked for that kind of recognition, but it felt good. And I was like, yeah, I am doing that. And yeah, I'm feeling amazing. And you know what? You should do this with me because it feels great. So anyway, long story short, after quite a few, maybe two or three weeks, I, between Shakeology, having the energy and finally feeling nourished, all the pain medication, and I hadn't even mentioned anything about pain medication, but I was on a ton of pain medication all the pain medication didn't need it. And I'm not say I'm not here to make any claim that, you know, you know, Shakeology or any of our products will cure any things because that's not necessarily true. However, all of the inflammation that was in my body, the way my gut was, the way my neck was, I still have that cervical stenosis. I have not needed surgery but I am no longer inflamed the way I used to because I took the time to learn how to eat, how to nourish my body, and how to feel good again. And when you switch that mindset, it is incredible how pain goes away. I no longer take pain medication. I haven't taken pain medication since three weeks into my journey. Not even Advil. Maybe Advil like for a hangover once. <laughs> Because let's be real. Um, but my point is, is just saying what we put inside of our bodies is 
going to be a reflection of how we show up in the world. Okay. And I learned that. And so, yeah, I was like, yes, I need to tell everybody about this. And so I didn't even necessarily care about supplementing our income. However, we did have debt. We did have girls getting ready to go to college. We did have one after college say that she wanted to get married. And thank goodness, thank goodness, we said yes to building a third income when we did because all of those things were seamlessly taken care of because you know those high school sweethearts that got married 20 something years ago? We weren't prepared for all those things. But because we said to this opportunity, all of those things were seamless. And when things came up or something broke in the house, the money was there. That slush fund, you know, sometimes it was just like, we just wanted to go out to dinner together, or maybe we wanted to take a weekend vacation together and the money was there and we didn't have to tap into our regular money that we made from our corporate careers. And so we have just been so blessed in so many ways that we said yes to taking care of ourselves, taking care of our unit, our relationships, building new relationships with people who want to feel amazing as well. Because let me tell you something, when you surround yourself in a community like ours, it is extremely hard for it not to expand because you will feel energy and you will attract that same energy. And so I have met some of the most beautiful, I don't mean physically beautiful. Yes, we have a beautiful team, but I mean people, heart and soul. I have connected with women like I have never connected before. A lot of women think I'm a little intense. Okay, I'm sorry. Then maybe you're not my person. <laughs> but I'm just so passionate and purposeful in this opportunity that we get to share with you because when it comes to your success and what it is that you want to achieve, there is no one on this team more than myself than wants that for you. But I have learned something throughout the years of coaching that not everybody will do this because they're scared of their dreams. If your dreams don't scare you, if you have reached your goals in life and you are so happy and so blessed, don't get me wrong, I am so happy and so blessed, but I never stop dreaming. I never stop committing myself to being better. Better doesn't always mean having more, but here's the thing, even having more, we're worth it. We are worth working and sharing and impacting people's lives and having more in return. Because when you look at money, it's not about the amount, but it's really truly about the experiences that you get to have in your life. I'll never forget every time one of the coaches on our team is just like, this is the year of yes. I get to say yes to my kids more. Yes to ice cream. Yes to the, let's go to the toy store. Yes to, you know, let's go someplace for the weekend. How, ex how exciting is that? when you live in a mindset of made, being made for more. And it's not selfish to wanna to take care of yourself. It's not selfish or materialistic to dream big. Don't allow other people to squash your dreams because they don't know how to dream big. Surround yourself with people who want to dream big and big things will happen to you. 
And so it excites me so much to the core to be able to share this opportunity with every single one of you so that we can mentor you to take the steps that it takes to be in life where you want to be. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. We will not promise you anything, but we will ask you to commit to your best life. And if you commit to your best life and you work towards that every single day, and don't quit because why would you quit on working towards your best life? You're guaranteed to be successful in whatever it is, whatever path you choose to take. So it's an honor for me here today to come and share with you guys my personal story and my journey and my passion and purpose in coaching because I know there are people on our team who have come home from whatever it is that they do in their lives so that they can have a better life in their eyes and show up in the lives of others the way that they want to show up. So you truly can rock this life. <laughs> you can truly create the life that you want as long as you believe that you can. I will believe in you, but you have to believe in yourself. And this team needs to be right for you. If you are feeling engaged with us, if you, there's something that resonates with you, that's worth tapping into. It's worth it. I said no multiple times. And then when I said yes, I never turned back. I went all in and my life has changed and yours can too. I love you guys. I cannot wait to learn more about you. The next couple of days are going to be amazing and we're thrilled to be here. And like I said, it's an honor to coach and mentor you in every way because this team truly loves everyone. Have a great day, guys.